Hey everybody, my name is Miranda Lee. I am here for my reflection video for emulating a pro the project. So after looking through a lot of Martin, Sh Martin Schrenka's photography, I found a couple of pictures that were both really intriguing and seemed realistic for me to be able to recreate. So after choosing those images, I went through and I made up a plan for how I would make those images come to life. I um, found the location that I felt was suitable, also helped, did some research to find the best time and tried to plan around weather. Um, but once we showed up at the set to shoot the location, I was not happy because it was raining. The sun was not shining, which is a big part of what I wanted in the photo was sun coming like horizontally through the trees, kind of making that like mystical effect. And that did not happen. So we decided to get back in the car and head up to the mountain and try to get to where the fog was so that we could capture um, that mystical light within the fog. So once we found the place we wanted to be that had um, fog and some sunlight, we had everything else in place. I knew how I wanted the model to be, how I wanted the trees surrounding the model, the you know the background being blurred, a low depth of field for the image. So we started taking some pictures. Um, we ended up taking this photo here. And I really like how it turned out. I took the photo at an f-stop of 5.6, a shutter speed of 1 over 1,250 seconds. And the ISO was 1,250. So it turned out really pretty. And I actually really liked the original image even before editing it to make it a little bit more of a Martin Strenka Strenka emulation. <laughs> um, so then I took the photo into Photoshop and from there I lowered down the satur saturation a lot and also messed with the color hue to get this more um, cool hue instead of this warmer hue that was naturally given in that area. Um, from there I added a lens flare, which a lot of Martin Schrenka's images have. I didn't initially plan to add a lens flare into the photograph, but after seeing the image that I shot and seeing it side by side with a lot of images that are similar that he has shot, he has a lens flare in a lot of those images. So it just made sense and it worked really well in the picture. And then this is my final image. So I really love the final image that I got to. I think it turned out really well. I think it's a really great composition and it really does emulate his work. So hopefully you enjoyed this short video about how I got to my final image and I look forward to seeing yours. Thank you. Have a good day.